Hi guys, it's Lars Lehmann once again from the Sadowski Germany headquarters. Guess what? We have a premiere today. This is the very first fretless Sadowski bass that I am having the pleasure to review on this channel. Here we go. This unbelievable beauty here in my hands is a 21 fret <laughs> vintage J Sadowski bass from the Metroline series. It comes with a swamp ash body uh, with a beautiful Lake Placid Blue finish a maple neck and an ebony fretboard. Now, when I say 21 frets, of course, there's no frets here, right? But you have these beautiful dots here on the side of the fretboard, which will help you with your intonation on this uh, fretless fretboard. You want to pay special attention to the truss rod wheel, you know, this little spoke wheel here, which actually makes adjusting your neck very, very easy. On the headstock, we have four vintage style Sadowski tuners with open gear, and we have a Sadowski Justinat 3, which comes in very handy when it comes to string height, you know, for your fretting hand. We also have a Sadowski bridge, which allows for adjustment in two dimensions, and this is a quick release bridge, which means when you're changing strings, you don't actually have to pull the whole string through the bridge. All you want to do is to use these little extra holes to push the uh, ball ends through. Electronic-wise, we have the amazing Sadowski onboard preamp here, consisting of a concentric knob with a bass and treble. We have what they call the VTC, the Vintage Tone Control, which will also work in passive mode. And talking about active and passive mode, this one also serves as a push-pull in order to get from active to passive. Then we have the blend control for your pickups and your volume knob. Now, if you want more information on the classic Sadowski preamp, we have an extra video especially for you. Uh, we'll just put the link in the description. Pickup wise, we have two J-style hum cancelling pickups. So no single coils, no hum in whatsoever. Should you find yourself with a dying battery in the middle of your life set, no problem at all. In order to change your battery for the preamp, all you have to do is to open this quick access electronics compartment cover. Okay, ready for some sound files? For my playing examples, I'm going to be using a Warwick Gnome hat as well as a Warwick Gnome 2x10 cap. Perfect combination. Okay, how about for some classic J bass fretless sounds? I now have the bridge pickup on. I have the vintage tone control at about 50%, treble at about 50%, bass is at about 60%. Here we go. Now the same setting also works great with the front pickup. Here we go. Can you slap on a fretless bass? Sure, why not? Both pickups on, vintage tone control at about 90%, treble and bass at about 80%. How about for a nice plectrum groove in the style of Tony Franklin and others? Check this out. Um, front pickup, vintage tone control all the way up, bass and treble at about 80%. Nice bass, huh? And you know what's cool? These basses are being manufactured here in the heart of Saxony in Germany in a 100% carbon neutral production. Cool, huh? For more information, please go to sadowskibass.com. That's it from me for today. I'm Lars Lehmann and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.